Who's come to see us? Is that yeah, Frank? How are we? All right, Frank. How are we? Well, wait, you told us there would be the old bump in the road this season. Uh, different kinds of defeats that we've seen these last two weekends. Um, today, though, it felt a strange lack of creativity from a side that's created so much over the course of this season. Yeah. Why do you think that might be? Uh, we were generally we were down, we were low par, and uh, I didn't expect that today. We brought in some players to freshen it up. Um, we knew that West Ham, like a lot of teams, will come here and defend well and give it everything and be organised against us. We didn't show enough, simple as that, not good enough in terms of what we created. I think all three games this week, in a, I haven't been that happy with our final third stuff. Man City, we got there a lot and didn't quite find the right cross, pass, shot. Same against Valencia, many times to score more goals. Not quite as much today, so a, a different type of, of, of a feeling, but at the same time, we have to be better in the boxes. I thought the first 15 minutes, we looked on it. Mason was playing that, that 10 role and he looked like the one that was going to be the one to stretch their back four mm. and create things. And actually, we looked, I was really happy with our first 15 minutes. I'm guessing you were too. I, I, I was, other than the goal, because they had a couple of things where they blocked a couple of bits that I think we might have been going in. We knew we wanted to run behind their, their back line. They like to hold a bit of a line around the edge of their box. And we, 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 I felt that we could get in by, by Christian, by Mason, by Pedro running behind. And uh, I agree there were bright signs early on, but they petered out. We, we stopped probably doing that we went back on ourselves slightly far too much allowed them a little feeling in the game we, every time they went down the other end which wasn't much but we gave them a little a couple of headers in the box um, and the day where we're just generally off of it and we will analyze it to more to a point but I think that the stadium was off it today mm -hmm. I thought the players we weren't quite there the, the feeling in the stadium was a little bit and we didn't do anything to make to up that and uh, it was one of those days unfortunately just a question on the centre forwards. Obviously, Tammy, Tammy coming off. We saw Mishi replace him for the second half. We saw Olivier start today, and then we saw Pulisic in there as a sort of, I don't like the term false nine. Maybe you do. I don't know. Tell us about the thinking behind Olivier's selection to start, and then the Pulisic move that he made off the bench. Well, the, the, the Oli one was because obviously Tammy's injured and he's been going well. We know that, but um, Mitch has had more opportunities than Oli of late, and I felt it was a game to give Oli the, the, the chance because he's trained well and. and, and uh, and been utterly professional about the whole thing and, and can we use him to, to bounce off of him and then get runners in behind and, and join onto him and then and get balls into the box room and didn't okay. quite work that way to be fair and, and that's that and then the, the choice at the end of the game to bring Callum was I just felt it was a game which was becoming where they were just getting bodies behind the ball so mm. the feeling to get Callum on was to get another player that can take someone on 1v1 and try and beat someone and get a shot away and, and again we, we weren't quite at it enough uh, to make the difference. Mason came back, you've got a nice problem, but I'm guessing at times it's actually quite difficult to work out the midfield three to get the best out of that midfield three. And of course, Angolo was on the bench today. I say it's a nice problem. How <laughs> difficult is that to, to kind of nail down what you feel is our best midfield three? Well, it, it, will, it will be a bit of a process because whatever one you take out, you're taking out someone with really good attributes and that's that. And I think the, the Angola one today was, I've, I've listened to three or four months of the, the medical team telling me how no one's given him a rest. That's why he's had problems this season. So after two big games for him, physical games, uh, it felt the right thing to do in terms of keeping him with, with what we've got coming up. So um, I, I just expect more from us, whatever the personnel. That good problem means that whoever you pick in there can be doing better than what we did today. And, and I get that. Sometimes you can have down days. The, 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 the process that we're in, I, I think today might not be the worst. I hate losing. I hate losing against West Ham and the London derby. I hate the feeling of it. But it might be a reality, reality check for all of us that there's, there's work to be done um, across the ball because this Premier League is tough. And we, we've, we felt that today. So this this week, I suppose, in results terms, you know, a draw and, and two defeats would be not necessarily your biggest challenge yet, but okay, your most adverse week thus far. Yeah. Bring it on. Well, Go this, again this, against Villa. This is it. And um, I, I, every press conference I've done in the last six weeks have been telling me how great my team is and how above the curve we are, and, uh, and I hate it. I don't know. Listen, I'm pleased with the points total that we've got mm. on the board up to today, but at the same time, I, I guard against that. Um, so I'll do everything to try and get us back above that curve. Have we got anyone coming back with a chance uh, for, for Mr Terry and Aston Villa, uh, Tammy or anyone else? Uh, Tam, Tammy may have a chance. We'll see how he is over the next couple of days and uh, he'll be very keen to be involved against the team he was on loan at last season. I should sure. think so. Thanks for joining us, Thanks, Frank. Thanks, chaps. Thanks. See you again on Wednesday night. Thank you.